please no that's not my name anymore <laughs> hi guys welcome to my channel ashley joys yeah i actually dropped um an s off my name because some people are having a hard time finding me and i figured one s would make more sense so my name now is ashley joys um, and yeah, if you guys like that new name, it's very similar to my old name, but give this video a thumbs up if you like it. But in today's video, I ain't gonna ramble too long. Let's get straight to what we're trying to get into. I'm going to be doing a Q and A that I posted on my YouTube channel a while ago. It was the Arizona Q and A 2017, asking your questions. And so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and answer these questions that are on here and also questions that I got from like Instagram and stuff like that. So if you want to hear your, the answers to these questions, please stay tuned to my video and let's get started. Okay, y'all, sorry if I was really low in the last video. I'm trying to get this like, oof, this setup together because right now, I don't know where my tripod is. I have to order another one, so I don't, don't ask. But, so I got you guys propped up on some pillows. So let's get into this Q&A. So I'm using my mom's phone to um, answer you guys' these questions because I'm recording with my phone right now because my camera, I need to get an SD card. So I ain't going to be able to use my new camera yet. All right, so the first question we have is from Michelle Lopez. Hey, Michelle. Thanks for watching my videos. She said that, um, I know you moved suddenly, but did you have a job set up or a place to live before arriving? What line of work are you in? Well... I did not have a job necessarily set up before I moved here. I had a family um, who I reached out to on care.com who was interested in me being their nanny. Um, and, you know, they told me basically that um, when I got out here, we can see if we were fit. It was also another job that I applied for prior to me coming here is like at a nursing home type of situation. Um, and they basically didn't tell me the full truth as um, far as, pay and stuff like that before I got here so that ended up not working out but it was all fine because when I actually got here it was really easy to find a job um I found a job pretty fast and I had like three families that I worked for as far as being a nanny so you asked the second question what line of work are you in so I'm a nanny also behavioral analyst which I don't do too many um I don't have too many clients doing that because I feel like nannying I like a little bit better um the next question is Jerry Solomon I don't know why I say his name like that Sorry, Jerry. But he said, you made an excellent choice not moving to California. My wife and I have lived here for 32 years, raised a family, and are now ready to get out. The cost of living is sky here because, especially housing. Since, sorry, ooh, whoa, sorry, Jerry, you want a paragraph. Okay, so where's your question, Jerry? Let's see. Do you keep your place really cool, and how much does it, your air conditioning bill run? Um, okay, so... Air conditioning, it depends. Like where I live at currently now, it comes with the rent. My last place, we were spending about mm, anywhere from like $75 a person, so like $150 a month. Um, and then my last condo, it was a pretty bigger, pretty big condo. Um, we were spending like $300 a month in the summer. So it just really depends on how big your house is and how cold you like it. He said, we are wondering what part of Arizona do you live in and what do you think of the heat in the summer? So I can't tell you exactly where I live at, but I do live on, um, I will say I'm not too far from Phoenix. I love this side of town. It's the East Valley. It's amazing. Um, he said, the summer heat, I don't hate it, but I don't love it. I personally like it better than um, Michigan summer because it's so muggy there. It's not sticky here. It's one of those things where you get used to it because eventually you'll be outside like, oh, it's only 90 degrees today or, oh, it's only 100 degrees today. At first I was like, oh, it's so hot, it's 100, but now I'm so used to it that it doesn't really bother me. Um, next question we have is from Andy F. He said, do you smoke and how do you feel about gun laws? Um, oh, so, no, I do not smoke. Um, I never smoked and I'm just, it's just not for me. I don't judge people who do. How do I feel about gun laws? Um, that'll be in a different video. But thanks for watching my videos. The next person is Keith Smith. And I never read these questions yet because I wanted to wait to this so that when I tell you guys my answers, it'll be organically my reaction, also my answer. Um, he said, we'll be locating to Arizona in two years. And my questions are, 
there are any good paying jobs, many manufacturing, and me coming from Midwest, Indiana, cost of living, oh, let's see, cost of living there, is it cheaper or the same? Um, well, the cost of living here to me is not super cheap, but it's not expensive. It's to me about the same price as it was as living in Michigan. You just get way more for your bucks. So if you're paying like a thousand dollars for rent out here and you're paying a thousand dollars for rent out where I'm from Michigan, I don't know. I think Chicago definitely costs more than Michigan, but just to give you like a reference point, it was about the same cost of living. It just, I got a bigger place here. You know, I got more stuff here. Um... Sorry, y'all, the AC is kicking in because it's kind of hot today. So, um, Frankie C says, what areas are safest for a female to live? What areas have the most energy for a young adult? Lounges, dining. What do residents usually do during summer months and how often does it rain? So, that's, that's quite a bit of questions in one, so I'm just going to answer them. First question she said is, um, areas safe for females to live in? I feel like anywhere out here is pretty safe. It's just, I don't know the dangerous areas yet. Where I live at, it's pretty, you know, populated. And I think it's a pretty common area for people to live. So, um, it's one of those things where I'm not necessarily afraid to live in this area. I'm not sure. I, I, you know, I'll get back to you on that question. I don't want to steer you wrong. Um, you said, hmm, what areas have the most energy for young adults? I would say places like Tempe, Chandler, Mesa, Scottsdale, from my experience. Um... What do residents do hot summer months typically so much stuff going on out here like pool parties um you know they have like water parks theme parks you know river salt river tubing you can go up to sedona or like flagstaff where it's cooler it's a lot to do here so much to do here oh my gosh i can't even answer all this because so much there's so much to do here if you want if y'all want to i'm going to okay and let me answer the rest of these questions and i'm gonna tell you guys the good news um what what can become good news so the next question says hello really enjoyed your videos how much is an electric bill during the hot summer as i mentioned before it depends on how big your house is it also depends on how much air you use because some people they don't get as hot like me i'm always hot so i always have the air on you know but where i live at the uh, rent the bill is included in the rent so um oh but you said from the average size apartment i would say like 150 150 dollars to 200 dollars for an average size apartment probably i'll be visiting arizona for labor day weekend i'm in chicago land woo -woo, chicago she's out at okay i'm playing um, area and tired of the cold weather considering relocating to either Dallas or AZ by October so I'm so late by recording by answering this question hopefully you haven't already moved in if you have congratulations um, but you know sorry I couldn't help you if you have moved but I think either one it just depends on where I feel like my biggest thing about moving isn't necessarily to get people to move to Arizona it's just I get a lot of questions about Arizona my biggest thing is I think you should move wherever you feel fits you and what makes you most comfortable um, and, if you, and I always tell people, you know, I'm an advocate for trying something new when it comes to stepping out of your comfort zone. It doesn't have to be a result. It could be anywhere. Okay, y'all, my phone kept falling. So I just decided to go ahead and finish this video vlog style. So let me get back to the question. So, um, like I was saying, I'm an advocate for just moving wherever you feel like you'll be most comfortable. I feel like that's the most important thing is just praying about where you're moving to, making sure it's a fit for you. It doesn't have to be Arizona, just anywhere that you feel in your heart you're supposed to be moving to. So um, that pretty much wraps up the questions from the video, but I'm gonna kinda of touch on some questions that I got in my email, my inbox, and my Facebook. So basically I went ahead and I wrote out um, and took also mental note of the common questions that were asked. Sorry, I keep looking over there. I just got to remember to look right here on this phone. Um, I have to, yeah, I took some mental notes on what the questions that people were asking. So another big question that I got asked a lot, a lot, a lot, was basically about jobs. And I did a video on that. Make sure you check it out here. If I want me to do an updated video, I can. But, um, or even one specifically about nannying if you want to know or if you care about that. But jobs, it's so easy to find a job out here. So many jobs out here. Like, I just can't even really explain i'll leave like some indeed jobs below and things like that nannying is so easy to get into out here if you love working with kids 
It's so many um, manufacturer jobs. He did ask that question, and yes, there are a lot out here. Sales jobs, there's a lot of those things out here. Um, the heat, you get used to it, so it's not too bad. I mean, at first it is bad, you suffer through it, but you'll be fine. Because a lot of people ask me about that, too. I think that's a lot of people's biggest fear. It was mine, too. I was so scared. I ain't gonna lie. I was, this is kind of embarrassing, but I would um, turn on the heat in the, in the oven when I was in Michigan. Why am I saying it like this? But I would, like, open up the oven just so I could put my hand on it just to see. <laughs> it's so stupid, but I just wanted to feel how it felt. That's how I feel, though, for real. But, um, you get used to it. And this, the the winter is perfect out here. So, like, right now it's perfect outside. You get used to it, I promise you. Um, but, yeah, so if you have any more questions, leave them below. I might do a part, another part, like a part, I think that'll be technically part three. Because I did a part one a long time ago. I'll leave that link here. This is technically part two. And I'll do a part three if you guys get this video to 50 likes and you guys answer me some more questions. I'll go ahead and answer some more specific questions. But let's get into the good news. Okay, y'all. So, I've been thinking long and hard about this because, you know, I mean, I don't have, I, I love my community of subscribers. I love my subscriber family. Like, I just love y'all so much. Like, y'all understand how much it means to me. Eight, all 800 and something of you guys, like, to some people that's not a lot, but to me, that's 800 people, once again, like I said before, who believed in me. And that means a lot. I would do this YouTube thing even if I had one subscriber, you know, because I love reaching and touching people. Like, I love it. Um, and my channel overall views just reached 100,000 views and that's just crazy to me because I didn't do this to get a whole bunch of money I didn't do this to get a whole bunch of views I was just doing this because I enjoy it I don't, you know, all this stuff but my channel, I'm trying to get it together I'm trying to revamp it and I be saying that every single few months but I think now I'm starting to really find who I am on YouTube and finding myself and finding my niche so I'm gonna tell you guys this if I can get my channel to 1,000 subscribers I'm going to drop a vlogging channel. And to me, that's kind of hard because I've vlogged before just for a few times, like a week. And it was so much work. But I feel like I really want to show you guys more about Arizona. And just to let you guys in a little bit on my life. My life is just so crazy. But it's also so boring. But it's also so fun. It's just all these things I think like a lot of people can relate to. And I just want to really take YouTube a little bit more serious as well because I wasn't doing it for real. Let's be honest. I'm just being honest with myself. I wasn't putting as much effort in. But I feel like a lot of people have been asking me to start a vlog channel. And like I said, I, I'm really considering it. I'm going to have a vlog dropping pretty soon. Or I maybe I already had it dropped depending on when I post this video just to give you guys a sample. But if I, like I said, if I can get to 1,000 subscribers, um, the reason why I'm saying that, I'm not trying to pull people in to be a subscriber just because you know a vlog I'm pulling I want to basically be able to do more stuff and in order to do that I have to reach a thousand subscribers YouTube don't pay really much at all especially where I'm at in my in my part of it but once you get to like a thousand subscribers you can get like sponsorships and just little different things that you can get that can help me to show you guys more to do more so that's why I'm trying to get to a thousand so if you really want me to start a vlog channel first off give this video a thumbs up first so I know that that's what you want um second off share this video so that somebody else can see it hopefully it can help them and hopefully they can subscribe because if we can get to a thousand subscribers I'm dropping a vlog channel I'm already working on the background I'm already working on the, the channel right now it's private right now um I have I technically haven't started it but I mean like you know I got like the name and everything picked out so if you guys really want that give this video a thumbs up and let me know right below start these vlogs and I hope you guys enjoyed this, the, um, I was about to say story time. It's not a story time. I hope you guys enjoyed the, um, Q&A. And I hope I answered you guys' questions to the best of my ability. Like I said, if you have more questions and you want specific answers, please write it below and let me know. And if you want a part three, and if you also want a vlog channel, let's get this video to 50 likes plus. Let's share this video. And I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I won't give up, don't give up